This is Sly Tiger, and I watched an interesting video by Southern Prepper One earlier, or just a second ago, and I figured I would comment on it. So he was discussing the whole bunny thing again, this year's bunny drama, and to be honest, I have no idea really what the hell's going on, but I've I've heard that the bunny people are douchebags, and I've also heard that uh. The BLM are scumbags, and I'm I'm positive the BLM is scumbags. But uh, now, to be honest, I'm able to shoot on shit tons of acreage of BLM land, and a lot of my videos are actually on BLM land, and I never get harassed. I'll get watched by the border patrol for a little bit, but that's it. That's because um, I live near the uh, Texas New Mexico uh, and Mexican border, but uh. So yeah, what I've observed by watching the Southern Prepper 1 video, it's a good video, <clears throat> is uh, here's my observation on it and my opinions. Um, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the militia guys or three percenters or whatever look like pure shit bags. They sound like idiots if it is true that, uh, they want French creamer and cigarettes and blankets. That is absolutely stupid sounding. Um, now, it, to be honest, it would take me a lot to uh, leave my family to go to some uh, bird observatory place, a bird retreat, whatever the hell it is, the uh, the wildlife refuge. But um, there is a video that I watched, the High Desert Pioneer. I believe he's still up there, and I respect him. So not everyone up there is a scumbag. Um, you know, some people are ready for shit to go down. And I, by all means, I don't hate on him for that. But I do kind of think that the Amon Bundy dude is a sovereign citizen that wants uh, certain benefits from the government, yet uh, when it's... On them, they don't want to pay taxes and shit. But, um... Uh, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Um... Uh, so, yeah, the FBI, you know, and the militia dudes... The FBI, if y'all don't know, from the war on terror, when they start growing operator beards and wearing blue jeans and uh, everything, that means they are pretty much... This is, comes from the counterinsurgency playbook what they're doing and i can't believe these militia guys of all the fms and shit and i don't read a lot of fms what they're doing is they're playing the old game of winning over the local populace and making the militia guys look like lunatics and uh rather than being another government base and uh having to you know macho man rifle and everything and running around like tactical operators no, they're going to be sitting and uh, observing things through in their, uh, you know, suburbans or whatever in the heat while the uh, militia guys are running around like idiots out in the, uh, the uh, high desert or whatever it is there. <clears throat> and they're going to be, uh, you know, without night vision and, you know, acting, trying to be tactical operators. So... They have already pretty much lost the battle, in my opinion, because um, what they're doing is they're, the FBI is going to try to um, divide and conquer. And what I've observed with most militia-type situations is they, they throw the little hissy fits, they fight amongst each other. The government goes in there, they're probably plant informants and... Uh, pretty much know everything that they're doing you know they have their uh frequencies visible for all to see on the internet as well as so they're probably being listened to it at the very least and uh they they get divided and conquered they fight amongst each other you know you already have Haas usmc saying oh they come into my state i didn't know the militia really played exactly like that but uh yeah, they, they don't support it like the uh, Oregon militia, at least. <clears throat> you have, uh, you know, the Amon Bundy dude and a few other, like, Idaho 3% dudes talking to the FBI 
with the media watching them, which is, you know, <laughs> um, you have dudes running around with ARs, and then you have the FBI sitting in uh, heated suburbans, pretty much just making sure uh, they don't get some crazy dude that just starts shooting up the place. So, uh, it'll probably either be going on for a, a few more months, or... Um, or it just might come to a closure, depending on, you know, if someone like Hillary Clinton wants to burn them out or if they just uh, don't care and want to let them, um, you know, be commandos in the uh, the bird retreat observatory or whatever it is. It, it could play out a lot of different ways. But um, my observations is that the, uh, you know, they're, they're just... The FBI is just playing by the whole rule book, and uh, <clears throat> since it's on, you know, American soil, they'll probably just wait them out. That's what the um, insurgents do. They'll they they wait, you know, the Americans to leave or whatever. Well, since it's on our turf, I think the uh, the U.S. government has kind of learned that that's a common counter or insurgent tactic is just to wait people out, and they'll just play the waiting game as well. And then they'll probably arrest their asses or whatever. But if you read a lot of the comments and everything, they're like, uh, they pretty much, uh, most of the American public views the uh, Eamon Bundy dudes as uh, welfare cheats. So, uh, I mean, I don't hate the Bundy dudes or whatever, but um, I do think it's irresponsible what they're doing. Um, I think there's a better way, somehow, some way, to, um, if, you know, they want to start a revolution and shit, I, I think it'll be worse than what the system we already have. But if there's a way to change shit, I think there's a better way than taking over, uh, bird observatories and things like that. So that's all I really wanted to say. Um, whenever you see the government wearing blue jeans and having tactical beards and shit... That is a classic war on terror, um, counterinsurgency type, winning over the hearts and minds of the populace. So, um, I might do some more research on what else comes after that, but, um, that's just been my experience. Sly Tiger, thanks a lot. Take care.